Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn about what is average load and what is peak load in performance testing. Now as a performance tester, you will get a requirement of doing different performance tests based on the uh, average load and the peak load. So you will get a requirement like do a load test of 100 average users or do a soak test of 200 uh, peak load. So you will get these kind of requirements. And to do the performance test, uh, this performance test, you will have to find out the value of average load and peak load in your application. And uh, you will be given a data of something like this. So this shows the monthly website traffic. So this is a uh, data for month, but you will you can get a different uh, data like for a year or uh, six months or you know two years even data for your application. So you will have to find out the average and peak load uh, based on these data. So this shows like the uh, from the day one some 439 users uh, visited the website on the day two some 614 users visited the website. So you will have to find out the average and peak load from this data. So the average load is nothing but the uh, average of all this amount like all this traffic amount. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, averaging out of all these values. So you'll have to uh, add all these values divided by 31. So you will get the average uh, load. And peak load is nothing but the highest traffic that you have received in a month. So currently uh, the data is for a month. So you will have to find out the highest traffic received in a month. So in, in our example, it is 1007. So 1007 is the peak load, right? So uh, the average load is nothing but it is being calculated by averaging out the user load in a given time period. And in our example, by adding all these values and dividing it by 31, we get 713. So 713 is our average load. And peak load is the highest user load received during a given time period. So in our example, the highest traffic that we have received is 1007. So 1007 is the peak load. So I hope this clears the difference between the average load and peak load. 